good morning. It's Wednesday. It's nine o'clock. It's the 18th of August. My goodness me, it's nearly September. That means it's nearly November, which means Christmas is almost here. Hallelujah. There are Christmas decorations in some of the shops. <laughs> There's definitely lots of Halloween stuff up. I mean, it's August, not even September, and they've got Halloween decorations. Well, there we go. Don't get me started. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. So tomorrow, I think we'll start singing Christmas carols. <laughs> we we'll start singing Christmas songs on Sunday. I think. No. Yeah. Deck the whole with bells of hope. We've got so much to do between now and Christmas. I can't even think about Christmas yet. Well, with that happy thought now stirring in your minds, let's come before the Lord. O Lord, open our lips, and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what are mortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out? You have made them little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under their feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 119, verses 105 to 128. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I've taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth, and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. I hate double-minded people, but I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Sustain me, my God, according to your promise, and I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. Uphold me, and I will be delivered. I will always have regard for your decrees. You reject all those who stray from your decrees, for their delusions come to nothing. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore, I love your statutes. My flesh trembles in fear of you. I stand in awe of your laws. I have done what is righteous and just. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Ensure your servants' well-being. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail, looking for your salvation, looking for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your love and teach me your decrees. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. 
It's time for you to act, Lord. Your law has been broken. Because I love your commands more than gold, more than pure gold, and because I consider all your precepts right, I hate every wrong path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Proverbs chapter 9 Wisdom has built her house. She has set up its seven pillars. She has prepared her meat and mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servants and she calls them the highest point of the city. Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, come eat my food and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and you will live. Walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous, and they will add to their learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. Folly is an unruly woman. She is simple and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house, on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling out to those who pass by, who go straight on their way, Let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, Stolen water is sweet, Feed food eaten in secret is delicious. But little do they know that the dead are there, that her guests are deep in the realm of the dead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Return, Return to, to the Lord, Lord who will have mercy. mercy. To, to our, our God, God who, who will richly pardon. pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless. But it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the Son and, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it, it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. Mark chapter 5, verses 35 to 43. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher any more? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. 
Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was twelve years old. At this, they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, Lord you, you will, will guide, guide me with, with your counsel and, and afterwards receive me with glory. glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. And, and afterwards receive me with glory. glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Father, we thank you for today. Yeah. We thank you that we have a day to look forward to, a day to live in, a day to listen for your words of wisdom to allow you to teach us and to lead us into greater understanding and away from folly. Lord, help us to follow you Help us to be aware of you, to know that you are always right there by our side, holding us by our right hand, leading us, willing to reveal to us your ways, your words, and to use us to reveal you to the world around us. So Lord, we welcome you this morning. We actively submit ourselves to your Lordship and to your rule this morning. We ask you, Father, to show us today the work that you have for us to do. The people that you want us to interact with. Help us to be open, to learn new things, to not judge rashly, but to listen, to try to understand, to try to see a different point of view. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Father, the world 
and its needs are simple but the answer is surely Jesus but there's so many people with their own wisdom their own determinations and decisions of what they think is right instead rather than turn to something of sense turn to something of folly as people are leaving Afghanistan in droves as the news is full of it as the people are full of anger and frustration and in the Western world fingers are pointed and blame is laid and yet Lord the answer lies not in force not in even combat and overcoming and within the people of Afghanistan those who are opposing them the answer comes in prayer and father we pray today that the world would learn to hear your voice to get in step with your walk and Lord to pray in company with you for a world that is broken and unjust and wrong and as Biden finds himself pilloried by many for doing what the previous incumbent of the post decided would happen and then defends himself by saying we've spent a trillion dollars and many lives and they still can't fight for themselves Lord we wonder what the solution is in the world's eyes so we turn to you and we pray for the world we pray for this broken wonderful place of yours that's in so much trouble as the fires continue around the world and it's almost every continent every nation every place can point to fires america has them jerusalem has them at the moment france has them Algeria, Greece, Turkey. Father, wherever we look, it seems the world is heating up. It seems the weather is going from extreme to extreme. In one part of a nation there are fires and in the other side there's floods. So Father, we pray for common sense, good planning, a sense of who you are. Lord, we pray that people would find in their hearts a desire to do something that's meaningful and effective. And that has to be prayed, that has to be come before you, it seems to me. We can pour in billions and trillions of pounds, dollars, whatever currency you like, but the problems never go away. And the reason being that the heart of man is terribly deceitful and wicked so father we pray for a change of heart in the leadership of the nations of this world we pray for a change of heart in the people of this world for truly we have cast off restraint and left the world into a dodgy place father god heal our world and help us to pray intelligently we ask lord in your mercy here our father we pray for your church and her response to the challenges in our world today to the climactic changes that are taking place politically environmentally Lord we pray for our leaders to lead us with wisdom and discretion and discernment and we pray that we would not be so caught up in ourselves and our own challenges as we do face challenges and we face changes in the way that church looks and the way that church 
abundance. Lord, we pray that those things would not blind us to the needs around us. That we would take seriously our call to be salt and light in the world. To be a people of compassion who are willing to be inconvenienced for the sake of others, who are willing to walk alongside those who are suffering, those who are displaced. Mm. That we pray for those who are in prison as if we ourselves are in prison. We pray for those who are suffering as if we ourselves are suffering. Lord, may we not just play games and pay lip service, but may we truly take to heart your word and your example as you came and lived as one of us. Fully man, experiencing life as a human being, experiencing pain, torture and death as a human being. But being raised again as God and Lord of all, Lord of life, in order to bring us the hope of resurrection the reality of life beyond this physical life that we know now. Mm. Father, as we live this life and enjoy it and thank you for it, may we have eyes that see the eternal future and know that that's where our hope lies. May your church preach that message, live that message in such a way that those around us will see and know and understand and come to accept that hope for themselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We lift our prayers for those we know, love, care about, burdened by the needs of. Father God, for those who reside within our heads, our hearts, our thoughts and our prayers this day, we pause and we reflect on them by name, by situation, by need. And Father, we bring them and their needs before you now. Be God in their lives and ours, this day we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of glory, the end of our searching. Help us to lay aside all that prevents us from seeking your kingdom and to give all that we have to gain the pearl beyond all price through Jesus through our Saviour Jesus Christ Amen, Amen. as our Saviour taught us so we pray our, our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come 
your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. As always what? As always what? <laughs> At least they got it there at the end. <laughs> oh, okay, well, as Vic goes off to take that phone call, um, it's left to me to say, have a good day, everybody. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And go shine a light somewhere today. Be the presence of God wherever you are. Take care. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>